ClearPath Operational Mode 11, Step and Direction. Step and Direction is the mode you need when you're going to use a Step and Direction indexer to generate motion trajectories. Many applications can be done with ClearPath's MC models with their built-in motion controller. But for applications like CNC control, or where you already have an indexer and software that you want to keep, ClearPath SD is the way to go. Let's connect ClearPath to the MSP software and take a look at how to set things up. With a separate motion controller, most of the configuration will be on that device, but ClearPath has a couple of settings you may want to adjust. All step and direction systems have a certain input resolution. This is the number of step pulses that correspond to one revolution of the motor shaft. In ClearPath, like many systems, this number is adjustable. Here we have it set so that 800 pulses results in one revolution. The available choices for resolution in ClearPath depend on whether you're using an SDHP model, like this one here, or an SDSK model. I'll discuss that more in a minute. You will set most of your motion parameters on your motion control indexer, move length, velocity, and acceleration. But ClearPath has a sophisticated tool to control the rate of change of the acceleration, technically the jerk and jerk derivative, so that all changes in speed are made very smoothly. Let's take a look at what sort of effect the RAS has. First we'll make a move with the standard trapezoidal move profile. The high acceleration causes some belt slapping and some other noise even in this stiff mechanical system. You can see by using the scope function in the MSP software that the motion profile has a trapezoidal or triangular shape. Now let's add some RAS. Here's what the torque looks like with the RAS off. with the RAS on. With the RAS on, the torque has none of the spikes that you get from the sharp transitions of a trapezoidal or triangular profile. This allows you to set the acceleration much higher and still get smooth motion. The scope now shows the torque with moves at twice the acceleration. The moves are smoother and faster than without the RAS. There are two models within the ClearPath SD series, the SD-SK model and the SD-HP model. What are the differences? The SK model is meant to be a drop-in replacement for stepper motors. It has two to three times the power of a similar sized stepper motor. It's a closed loop brushless servo system, so it won't stall or lose steps like a stepper, and it costs about the same price as a stepper. The HP model has comparable power to a step and direction servo motor without the bulk of a separate servo drive. That's over 10 times the power of a similar size stepper. Compared to the SK model, the HP also has more RAS choices and more choices of input resolution. The HP is more expensive than the SK, but very favorably priced compared to other digital step and direction servo systems. If you don't have or want to buy, a separate motion control indexer, but would like the flexibility of step and direction control, watch the video on pulse burst positioning. The move incremental distance mode is another flexible positioning mode that is very easy to implement, so check that out too. 